Dr. DeGolo, at the Retina World Congress, you presented some incredible data uh, and presentation on the Vovista uh, trials and the outcomes of that situation. Could you outline your presentation for us? Sure. Um, what I presented was the top line results of the Optotech Vovista trial. And uh, as mentioned in the press release, um, both the trials, the, uh, the parallel trials, did not meet the primary endpoint. Um, we looked uh, at the secondary analysis as well, and what I presented was that the secondary analyses also didn't meet the endpoint, but to analyze secondary endpoints when the primary endpoint is not met uh, is not appropriate and really is not interpretable. So, you know, at the end of the day, uh, I think the message is that this was a very well-conducted trial. Um, I think that uh, it was uh, one that was logical to do based on the preclinical uh, data as well as the early clinical studies. Uh, however, the primary endpoint simply was not met. Yeah. So basically in the long run, Fovista is pretty much dead then? Well, I think it's not just Fovista, but it, now we have two very good scientifically based, well-respected companies, Regeneron as well as Optotech, uh, that have looked at this target and both did not meet their primary endpoints. And I actually congratulate both Regeneron and Optotech for doing uh, such an outstanding job of developing uh, this trial and these, these products to a point where we can make a scientific judgment. Um, and when both these companies that, that are, again, so well respected and have designed such a wonderful trial, find that the target simply does not show uh, the primary endpoint that one wishes it showed, it's, it's hard to believe that there would be another company that would pick up uh, that same target. For the industry and for um, uh, retina specialists, what's the take home message? Well, I think there are several. You know, uh, the, you know the, what I would say is that, uh, again, these are very well designed trial, I, trials. I congratulate Optotech and Regeneron for doing them. Uh, they are a service to our patients to know the results. The other thing that I would say is that, is that our system works. Uh, you know, our system really works. Uh, as much as we say, well, why do we have to go through these parallel trials and phase three trials and so forth? The fact of it is that we protect our patients and we do the right thing and we, we do it based on science and our system works. The other thing also, the other lesson uh, is that uh, anti-VEGFA monotherapy really is a high bar. Yes, it has limitations, but it really is a high bar. And finally, and I say this from a personal point of view, it taught me a lot about statistics. You know, because something works uh, in one trial, uh, even when it's statistically significant, it uh, doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to work in another. Uh, and uh, what it taught me is that at the end of the day, you can have a very well-controlled perspective randomized trial, but just because it's randomized in perspective doesn't necessarily mean that it's balanced doesn't necessarily mean that those statistics are going to translate into a larger trial. Statistics are exactly what they are. It's probability. And the phase two uh, in, this, in the Fovista trial was de designed and run extremely well. The, the uh, data was very, very good. The statistical significance was irrefutable. However, in the phase three trials, it simply didn't translate. And from a statistical point of view, that happens.